set R equals V sine phi, where V doesn't equal zero, is a circle. Let P denote a point at coordinates X, Y. So OQ equals X. PQ equals Y. OP equals R, that is, V sine phi. In the right angled triangle OPQ, we know that cosine phi equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to X over R. And sine phi equals opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to Y over R. So x equals r cosine phi, and y equals r sine phi. As r equals v sine phi, so x equals v sine phi cosine phi. And y equals v sine squared phi. We know that sine 2 phi equals 2 sine phi cosine phi. So sine phi cosine phi equals a half times sine 2 phi. Therefore, x equals v over 2 sine 2 phi. We know that cosine 2 phi equals 1 minus 2 sine squared phi. So sine squared phi equals a half, minus a half, times cosine 2 phi. Therefore, y equals v over 2, minus v over 2, times cosine 2 phi. Which means that y minus v over 2, equals negative v over 2, cosine 2 phi. Now we consider x squared, plus y minus v over 2 all squared. x squared equals v squared over 4 times sine squared 2 phi. y minus v over 2 all squared equals v squared over 4, times cosine squared 2 phi. So we can now write equals v squared over 4, times sine squared 2 phi, plus cosine squared 2 phi. We know that sine squared 2 phi, plus cosine squared 2 phi, equals 1. Thus x squared, plus y minus v over 2 all squared, equals v squared over 4 which can be written as v over 2 all squared. This has proved that r equals v sine phi, is a circle of radius v over 2, centered at the point 0, v over 2. The proof is complete now.